Sunday! Hey folks, special edition of Murder Hobo Inc. for the Boredom Busters. For you D&D shut-ins at home, you're welcome. We hope you enjoy this show. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy cool stuff like this or uh, that shirt, uh, go to tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. If you want to uh, chat with the cast, uh, give us some suggestions. Try uh, tinyurl.com M Hobo Inc. Uh, Discord because we have a Discord channel uh, courtesy of Carol and Blake. Uh, tonight we got a quick one shot for you, about two hours uh, travel time. Uh, when you land in San Diego, it's going to be 72 degrees. So uh, <laughs> this one is called Extraction from Tartan Shores. And we're going to start on a ship and see where it goes from there. But first, Let's go ahead and give a big murder hobo welcome to our players tonight. Uh, we'll start in the upper left-hand corner for me. David, David, who are you and who are you playing tonight? I am David, and I'm one of the newer murder hobos, I guess. And uh, tonight I'll be playing Marius, uh, a Triton Paladin, uh, Oath of the Hero. It's UA. Uh, anyway, we'll see how that goes. Yes, we will. Triton. Hmm. Sounds like somebody knew it was going to be Seaborn Adventure early. Cheater, cheater. <laughs> uh, next up is Carol. Carol, who are you and who are you playing? Hi, I'm Carol, and I'm bringing back my goth gnome grave cleric, Luna Hades. Who is that that bitch that killed me the other night? <laughs> no, I know she <laughs> That would be a, a week ago when um, my artificer blew you up. But no, she did not kill you the other night. I think that would be David, who killed you the other night. Two of four. Very <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> Scott, who are you and who are you playing? Hi, I'm Scott. I am um, um, DM, and uh, I, guess, I guess I've been with these guys maybe about seven, eight months. I don't know exactly. Maybe longer than that. Time just kind of goes like this. I'm playing a human uh, paladin. Uh, his name is Air Called Justice Man, and uh, he's probably one of my favorite characters to play. The only thing, uh, he's Oath of Conquest. Uh, the only thing interesting about him is that he has a really bad hair whip, and so he talks like this all the time. And he has a bit of a complex about that as well. He doesn't like when people make fun of him. That is golden. Oh, my God. We love Erica. Uh, last but certainly not least is Heidi. Heidi is here for her third appearance, making her a true murder hobo in one, cast one, member one, with swag one. coming. Heidi, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Well, like you said, I'm Heidi. This is my third time gaming with you guys. Um, I am playing Magdalene Blackthorn. She is a half elf uh, assassin. So, well, folks, that's that's the hand I got dealt with. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this is called Extraction from Tartan Shores. Essentially, uh, these four individuals have been hired as scouts for the nation of Bendoa as they go in uh, for Bendoa? an invasion. What? Bendoa? Bendoa. I think, yeah, Bendoa. It Bendoa almost was, was ben Bendova. <laughs> Bendoa. <laughs> the Cliffs of Dover. <laughs> yeah, this is not a family show, so if your kids are listening, <laughs> you probably might want to do earmuffs. Uh, so these guys are essentially uh, hanging out with the military. They're going to be scouts for the invasion of this poor country who I'm sure probably has it coming because they're who cares. Uh, they're going there, but damn it, last night a <laughs> really bad storm hit uh, as the armada was going around the Horn of Calypso. Uh, in the morning dawn, everybody can see that eh, the ships, they, they fared okay. However, uh, our lovely crew here has discovered that one ship uh, has gone missing and the fleet admiral is coming to their vessel to speak with their captain and them for a special assignment. We join them now as a longboat comes up on the side of the HMS Marianne, not the minnow, uh, and a stately man climbs the netting and jumps onto deck with a flourish. Uh, you can tell from his garb that this gentleman is a high-ranking military official. Every crew member on board 
snaps to uh, and gives a smart salute. You four being adventurers are not required to do that and just kind of look around and get the feeling that this guy's shit does not stink. Uh, he looks at you four. Obviously, you're not dressed as the other members of the crew. Looks at the captain. Says, are these the ones? Indeed, they are, sir. Uh, gentlemen, ladies, uh, may I produ uh, present Admiral Morgan. He would like to talk to you. You are led down into the captain's chambers. Uh, moderately lavish. Uh, not, a, not a great vessel, but not bad. Uh, the uh, Admiral sits down in the chair, snaps his finger, and your captain uh, immediately comes, comes up with some liquor. Um, he sits down, takes a big gulp. He says, first off, I understand you guys are our scouts. Thank you. Um, you guys have... Uh, Player knowledge, you guys have been to this air, neck of the woods. That's why you were hired as scouts. Folks at home, they're third level. Uh, he uh, takes a stern look and points out, uh, as you may or may not know, we have lost a single vessel. Uh, it's the Kelmus. Uh, your captain gasps, and he says, your son's ship? Ca uh, Admiral Morgan nods his head. He goes, yes, uh, my son Rory was the commander of the Keltus, and it is missing. Uh, as it was guarding the interior flank, I'm afraid it has crashed somewhere on the Horn of Calypso. You know, player knowledge, uh, that the Horn of Calypso is filled with a lot of reefs, and it is not an area easy to traverse, especially in ships. Uh, the Admiral continues on, and he says, since the Marianne is the fastest ship in the fleet, I would ask you for for a personal favor, along with a generous reward, to go search for the Kelmus and see if you can find my son, dead or alive. He may be on the reef. Really dead. <laughs> <laughs> ah, murder hobos. <laughs> they care. Uh, you may check the reefs, or you may check inland. Player knowledge. Uh, inland's kind of dicey. There's a lot of humanoid renegades at the Horn of Calypso. Uh, not even the folks at Bendoa uh, tend to screw with them. Uh, I but the probably Admiral, know a couple. Yeah, the Admiral is very sincere about it, uh, and the Captain volunteers your work and tells the Admiral that he will not be disappointed. The Captain has full faith that you four will uh, prevail and find his son most likely alive, sir. Your son's pretty. <laughs> I'm sure he's alive. Um, the Admiral is thankful, gives each one of you a small vial and tells you it is a potion of healing. So- I'm um, the weather, breathing? No, no, healing. No, that's, that's what I'm asking. How come we don't get one for underwater breathing if we're gonna go to a reef? If that's Wolf. one of row to the reef <laughs> i assume we're gonna to have to actually go under under the sea ship. <laughs> I, I mean full point meal. Under i don't know if we can swim in the answer <laughs> uh, we don't have any uh, water breathing water walking potions oh come mm. on I wonder if I can cast anything like that. Uh, the Admiral looks at the Captain quizzically at your responses, and the Captain, uh, uh, they'll do fine. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he's doing, what he's sending us The Admiral quickly grabs the car off of alcohol and says, well, time to get back to my ship. We'll see you on the shores, and uh, let's kick their ass. I, I'm like slouching, you know, I got. You're the emo. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> after leaving, uh, the old man's quite spry, jumps down into the longboat and he sails back to his vessel, the unicorn. Uh, the captain turns to you and goes, that could have gone a little bit better. That guy's leading the whole fleet. He's your <laughs> paycheck. Uh, we will ready a longboat okay. with some water. Uh, and the longboat will have enough room for you four and six survivors if you can find them, but only six. What about my horse? Uh, <laughs> you can ride it. 
Do you have water wings for it? You know, water booties for it? You yeah, know? do you have the uh, noodle? Do you have a pool noodle for it? No, I suppose I can, I can net. I just don't like to be away from him. <coughs> if, if the captain or the animal says we have to go, that's fine. I mean, I'm a knight. I should be on the horse. You should be. Maybe you can find a, I don't know, water horse. That's a great a idea. Horse? You mean a seahorse? A seahorse. Sure, a seahorse. <laughs> so, uh, so um, uh, honestly, do do uh, we want to go to the reefs or do we want to try inland? What, what's the, That's our first decision, right? Correct. The reefs may be a better shot at finding something that'll let us know where he is. Yeah, we should start there. Uh, that's my input. Okay. Captain Gorman will say he he will get as close as he feels comfortable. After that, you're just going to have to row the longboat. No, well, that's fair. I guess the reefs it is. Okay. So sounds like the other part would be a challenge for sure. Yeah, the, the reefs are probably not going to be a challenge. I would be more comfortable on waiting. None of us are seafarers, but okay, that's what, fine. Maybe this is the scenario that Eric called Justice Man gets a giant seahorse's amount, and he can be the shit. So I get one of those. You'll never see me again. <laughs> 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 Captain Gorman has listened to you. He says, okay, uh, we will move into a position uh, near the southern reefs uh, and we will lower the longboat upon arrival. A few minutes later, they make good time because the Marianne just hauls ass. Uh, as they lower the longboat, I'm going to need performance checks from all four of you. Performance? Oh, that's not going to be good. Oh, hey, look at that. That's a nat 20. <laughs> Oh, 25. I got the dirty 20. 14. Eric Hall got a five. <laughs> I'm really he went over the side with his horse. <laughs> I, I'm a full plate now. I'm, I'm not exactly equipped for this. Luna, Marius, and Maggie, uh, you're, you don't have a coxman or a coxswain, so you're stroking it as hard as you can, but it, it's almost like somebody is really <laughs> fighting the current. Uh, as you look back, you notice that Eric Hall Justice Man has the rhythm of a white dude in a bar and just <laughs> cannot going get the this way. done. Uh, <laughs> you, you, can, you can pause and tell him how the fuck to row this boat, or you can continue on slowly. Oh man, I really like that roll too. Because <clears throat> I'm afraid if I pause, I have to roll it again and I'll never get to that again. Um, what do you guys want to do? Hey, I'll go at him. Like, I'll, I'll step up and start rowing. <laughs> yeah. Erica, give me an intelligence check to see if you can follow their questionable instructions. Like this. That is a uh, 15. Oh, he catches on quickly because he is a, a glorious knight and the stroke, stroke, stroke continues. Uh, about 10 minutes away, you can see the ship getting a little bit smaller on the horizon, but you also notice debris fields. Uh, there's flotsam coming out of this area. There's weird undulating currents uh, and you notice some rocky formations off to your left and rocky formations off to your right. Each has debris atop the reef area your choice a lot of choices tonight everybody's getting choices can we make any sort of <laughs> checks to see if we pick out anything um that might be off that ship i will take perception checks they look like two different ships there's no uh that would be that would be a 19. 20 dirty again 16. Nice five. Uh, <clears throat> your perception picks up. You can't tell whether they're two separate ships or not. However, you three can hear, hear a uh, whistling? A whistling noise from the like, left. Like a whistle? Not a military whistle, but a 
that's that's the extent of my uh, abilities to do sound effects. You're here. Remember, now? I'm a seduction based DM, not <laughs> not a performer. Do it, Frank. Do it. You know you want to do it. Come on, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a slight whistling from the one uh, from the other. Uh, the other one, the one to the right, is a little bit more distant. So you really can't make a, a good case for, okay, those are just two pieces of the same ship. You cannot tell that. Sure. I was, uh, I was thinking more in terms of the two different ships, and I would maybe pick out which one might be the right one. But this time, we don't really know what was on there, so it makes sense. We wouldn't. As a DM, I would always put your final goal right at the start. <laughs> <laughs> your choice, left or right. Uh, you've got a whistle on the left. Do we want to check out the left? Yeah, it yeah, might I be him. So. Uh, now that Eric Hall Justice Man has uh, gotten his rhythm back, uh, you guys make good headway. Uh, you head to the nearby reef and it, notice that it is covered with debris, including a fractured hull. The slight whistling noise is heard, but you call out to survivors with no response. Uh, as you creep more towards the reef, <coughs> who wants to do the roll on beach in this thing? <laughs> what better roll is that? Eric Hall Justice Man Eric volunteers <laughs> with his double fives. Let's see it. Give me a performance we're check. We're gonna sink this. <laughs> That's a dirty fifteen. Uh, good enough. Uh, there's a little bit of scraping as you. Uh, that you're you're still getting used to the uh, technique on using a longboat, but <laughs> it, you you arrive on the dangerous reef. Uh, fortunately, none of you had a critical failure. Uh, you guys can all disembark and go up and examine or you can uh, split the party which is always a D, &D favorite your choice <laughs> a lot of choices tonight a lot of choices i think stick together i think so I sure i say we more the the launch and investigate the reef Fair. Yeah. eric hall uh no yeah, chance. i have i have 50 feet of rope i will tie tie yourself off to the reef and make sure that our boat does not float away, and I will join my party. Excellent. Uh, as you guys walk over the rugged terrain, uh, you come upon the debris, and I will take D12s from everybody, please. D12s. Eight. Oh, that was a good roll. That's a two. Double twos. Oh. Marius? Uh, eight. Uh, eight and nine. Maggie and Marius, uh, you are the first ones to come across the debris with the name of the ship. This was the Dumbarton. Uh, give me a DC 15 investigation, both of you, please. Uh, let's see. Investigation. Um, 19. 10. Maggie notices that this is most likely a merchant vessel and not a military ship. Marius, not so certain. Uh, you look around, and uh, I will take D twelve, or I will take investigation checks from all four of you. Okay. okay that's, a that's only a twelve. Uh, Seventeen for Marius. Twenty-three. Yep. Ten. Did you say twenty-three, Maggie? Yes, I did. She's a rogue. Uh, <laughs> Maggie and Marius uh, both find some stuff. Uh, Maggie, you find a small rusty metal chest about yay big, uh, more of a box than a chest, and it contains some gems. It contains about 50 gold pieces worth of gems. The rust indicates that it's been out here a while. Marius, uh, you found the main item in the hold, rotted cloth. <laughs> but wrapped inside of the cloth are chicken feathers chicken feathers mm -hmm. okay. and everybody okay. do perception check oh boy nope that's a uh, hey you know when i say nope um is david is that a one nice no, 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 no. what is that time 16 <laughs> 16 Marius? 22. 22. 
Eric Hall will have 11 plus. Uh, Marius and Maggie again, uh, as you hold each uh, your treasures aloft, a your peripheral vision catches a large creature exiting the water near your boat. And it kind of looks down at the rope. Oh, this no, is what you... is known as a marrow or an aquatic ogre. I will take initiative from everybody, please. <laughs> Right. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, 16 for Marius. 22. 17. Uh, will, Erica will get 16 plus whatever. So all four of you will beat the marrow. First up is Maggie. Maggie, uh, about 15, 20 feet away, since you didn't have to get in that far, you see this marrow coming up out of the water and eyeballing your rope and your boat. Okay, I'm just gonna yell him, hey, don't touch that. I'm gonna start walking towards him. Walking, very nice. Uh, next up is the 17, Luna. Mm, let's see, how many feet away is he from me? How big is this area? About 20, 25. Okay, so not, so okay, I got options. Um, a lot of options tonight. A lot of choices. I'm going to try to uh, <coughs> flame him. Make a dexterity save 13. Nope. That's a six. Right. So that's a 1d8 radiant damage. Uh, that, 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 that's only three damage. But it's more like a warning shake. Hey, yeah, get away from there, pew. See how he reacts. Oh, I, I'm sure flaming his ass will get a positive <laughs> reaction. I'm pretty well, sure that always happens. Well, might that take him away from the rope is what the goal is. Now, uh, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, why don't you roll a d20 to make sure that you didn't flame part of that rope? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I'm aiming at him. Uh, but there's no aiming at it. It's just um, that's not how it works. It's oh, this isn't burning hands. Yeah, no, it's no. That's why you make a save. I'm not. Oh, okay. I, okay. I, I I will let it stand then. Marius, uh, your shot at the aquatic ogre. Go ahead. Okay, with shield and trident in hand, I'm gonna go ahead and make an attack. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, first it's gonna be uh an attack with the trident. AC oh. eleven. Eric Hall, you are fighting a marrow. Very nice. Uh, 18. Oh, yeah, that hits. 11 to hit. Okay. Eric Hall, you will be up next. I rolled for your initiative. Uh, 11 points of damage. Oh, nicely done. Uh, Eric Hall, uh, Maggie and Marius have pointed out an aquatic ogre is eyeballing your rope that is tendering your craft. Luna uh maggie yelled at it luna decided to light it up and marius has hit it with his trident you are up and then the marrow goes mute Scott! Am I in range? uh it's only 20 feet away so okay i, I, will, I will one up and 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 smite the fell bastard kill it Oh wow, that's good. Yeah, that's a uh, um, uh, it's a dirty twenty-four. Yep. Easy to hit, hard to kill. Uh, that'll be um, thirteen points of slashing damage. Very nice. Marrow's turn. D four. Two. Luna. It didn't like you lighting it up. Wait, so he's gonna leave his space to come after me? Oh, yeah, you guys are circling around it. Uh, eight plus six, it's only a 14 to hit. I'm going to impose disadvantage. That's gonna miss, it's going to miss anyways. Fine. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's going to miss anyways. Maggie, top of the order. You're up. Okay, so I've got people surrounding him, right? Yep. I'm going to try guys and have stab him. A half moon around it. I'm going to try and stab and him with my rapier. It is now focused on you, not on the rope. Okay, well, kind of what I wanted to happen. Should have told it a joke. 
You're welcome, Luna. <laughs> 15. Uh, hit. Hit. Yep. 10 points of damage. Nicely done. You guys are carving this bastard up. Luna, you are up. I don't really want to be with the melee range. I mean, that would screw up my spell casting, you know. Um, but if we're going to let go, I'm going to do a path to the grave, which means that whoever's next, whoever gets the next hit on it, it'll be vulnerable to the damage, so you do double. That's Marius. And do I get, let's see, nah, I got nothing, nah, I got nothing really I want to do for bonus action, so. Okay. You're up, Triton. All right. I am going to make another melee attack. Yes. Uh, let's see. 15, 15 plus 8. So that hits. Easily. Divine Smite. And. Okay. So. Mm, after all, so good. Uh, Poor bastard was just. Se around. Seven points initial damage and then 2d8. And don't forget to double it from Luna's spell. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, do do your damage doubled, not the additional. Oh, okay. I, I guess your smite would count. So yes, that and your smite. I okay. can look to make sure, but so fourteen total doubled. That works. Fourteen doubled. Mm -hmm. Twenty-eight or fourteen. Twenty-eight. Okay. Uh, fifty. Mm -hmm. you. Nicely done, Eric. Call this uh, marrow is not looking healthy. All right, I will, I will, I will <laughs> yell at it and insult it for being a bastard. <laughs> uh, and that's a twelve. Oh, that hits. <laughs> you bastard. Only needs an eleven. <laughs> uh, that is eight plus four. That's twelve. Twelve hit points slashing damage. As I recall, Justice Man buries his blade into the creature. The beast pitches backwards and slumps onto the rope. Uh, dead. Evil bastard. Evil. I'm, I search it. Uh, it has a coral necklace that might fetch about 45 gold pieces back in civilization, assuming that you survived this trip. Yes, I would take it. And I will give it to Luna because she seems so depressed. Yeah. Oh, this is really kind of cool. And you did a good job taking that thing out. We yeah. all. Yeah. Uh, if the ass kissing's over, that's all. <laughs> that's all that's on this reef. <laughs> Evitability right there. We're yeah. all getting stuff like that, Marrow. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> The uh, greenish blue creature has very little else uh, that you could siphon from it in the form of alchemy items. Uh, the necklace is pretty much the only thing. You are going to have to push it off the rope, though, because it did fall on it. Or you can cut the rope and shrink your 50 feet to something less. No, I'll use the trident and try to push him off the rope. I'll take a d20. As long as it's not a one, you should be able to do that. If it's a one, you're going to fray your rope. Oh, okay. 16. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Marius, the ogre scooper, uh, goes ahead and rolls the foul beast over, polluting the already dirty water at reef number one. Uh, the Dumbarton didn't hold much, but at least Maggie got her gems. Uh, <laughs> time to get back on the boat. <laughs> That's true. You can get back on the boat and continue your surveying of the area. So we go to the right now. Yeah. We go to the right. That would be the next closest. Give me performance checks to see if you guys all remember how to steer your longboat. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 12. Again, you're feeling a drag. <laughs> mm -hmm. 16, and I will turn back to Eric. I'm like, no, man, you got to stroke it like this. <laughs> oh, man, you're such a drag. Come on. Get it right. It's forward, back, forward, back. Give me an intelligence check there, Eric. Call. <laughs> That's a 15. 
Eric Hall can go back on Soul Train because he's got his rhythm back. Uh, you guys head deftly to uh, the reef, which is coming closer and closer. I will take an audio perception check from everybody, please. Seven. Uh, eight. Fifteen. Luna, you hear some strange lapping on your side of the boat. Lapping like what sort of lapping? Like water on something? On like, something. Like water's slapping up against something? Pla um, yeah, I was going to say plasticky or, or. No, as you turn to look, I look, you're pretty sure you just saw a set of eyes. I just saw her eyes down there after I heard that weird sound. You can stop the boat or you can continue. Row, 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 row. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cowards. <laughs> Frank's like, oh. Uh, is just a quest. She sees things sometimes because, you know, she's just That's a true. Quest. It's probably just the siren of the sea nothing to worry about, to uh, worry about. as you plow through more debris uh you notice that some is new some is old swollen wood it's really hard to tell uh there's bits of cloth uh maybe some clothing fabric it's just uh, they really need to clean up this part of the ocean here uh looks like another uh, there's a forward section of a vessel on this particular reef which is elongated uh you can see it's almost a good track of land maybe a hundred yards and you see the initial forward hull of a vessel and then you see more debris further down about 80 yards away so do you want to go to the first set of debris or the second set of debris we'll, we'll just keep going as we'll just keep coming to it as we come to it we'll just hit it in order Okay, well, you can actually, if you land here, you can actually walk along the reef to the second one, just so you know. That might not be a bad idea, considering what I just saw. I'm good with that. Okay. So, who, oh. wants to, who wants to beach this craft this time? <laughs> that, Eric <Erica. laughs> <laughs> Not 20. Nice. Eric Hall may have trouble steering and rowing, but he sure does know how to beat shit. Uh, <laughs> you find yourself a nice little angled inlet, and you just slide right in there. I mean, it's perfect. You got steps from the reef. I mean, it, it is primo location. Great. Uh, wow, that was impressive. Like to, yeah. yeah. Are you going to do the same thing and uh, rope it down as best yeah, you can? Rope it down. Rope it down as you can. Absolutely. Okay, everybody give me investigation checks, please. All we need to do is let the boat go away. Uh, 20, not natural. 15. 18. Did they all get they all a, a six? Uh, your uh, investigation through the debris yields no nameplate on the forward section of this vessel. However, your investigation just does tell you uh, that uh, this isn't new. This has been here a while. Uh, the debris field is fairly constant on this section of the reef. Then you have a good 30 yards of just uh, organic sea life, uh, small crabs, things of that nature. And then there's more debris at the far end. Crustaceans. Well, I guess we keep going. Yeah. We'll walk okay. to the next one, I guess. Yes. I'm basically I will lead. I will lead in front. I will take uh, initiative rolls. Oh, shit. Because I just don't care. Ten. <laughs> Ten. Fun. Eighteen. Nice, nice leader. Eighteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. And he got a one. Uh, Maggie, you hear strange lapping in the water as well. Okay, damn it. Wait, was that? Okay, I'm going to look to where I hear it. You see a set of eyes. Okay, just coming out of the water? Well, or there's is there like, like a little head? There, there's floating debris. And you just kind of see. 
Okay, then, yeah, Luna, your friend is back. Uh, I'm pointing towards the water. It's probably kind of, Mrs. Marrow. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of eyes are they? Are they give Maggie what, points it out too late and none of you guys see it. So no, well, I saw it before. What kind of eyes were they? Round. Like like um a like from aquatic creature or a humanoid or D twelve against me. Come on. Oh, no clue. That, oh, wait, that's a one. So, Not a clue. Didn't see it long enough. Keep walking, Keep I guess. Keep walking. Fair enough. Uh, some small crabs with red crimson tips on their pincer. Uh, they just have one oversized pincer kind of block your way and zigzag sideways in front of you. How big are they? They're blocking our way? Well, they're in front of you, and there's a lot of them. I'll try to, like, move them out of the way with my rapier. I think we should take in have a crab dinner, you know, just take mm -hmm. something and put them all in. Uh, Maggie, see if you can hit one. This is dirty 20. Oh, yeah. Easily, you take your rapier and flick it into the water. Bloop. And then you hear a crunch. <laughs> I kind of wondered, hey, we're feeding whatever those belongs to those eyes. The <laughs> other crabs scatter at the obvious uh, powerful woman uh, who is destined to wipe out their entire clan. Uh, and <laughs> your path to the next set of debris is wide open. I'm kind of disappointed, but then again, that's my normal state. But your crab dinner would have been kind of yummy. You can always go fishing for it. Go yeah. Eric call in. He's weighted down. <laughs> 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 Continue right. forward. Yep. Yeah. Everybody perception check. Fifteen? Uh twelve. 21. Maggie, uh, you see a hand stuck on one of the rocks. It's very close to the water line, so if anybody wants to go investigate it, they will have to be careful. Eric, I'll. <laughs> and, and check it out. Yes, I will. Give me a Dex 12 check, as uh, this area is kind of unstable not my best stat you're welcome <laughs> 17 very nice uh the nightly knight uh carefully makes his way over peers down into the dirty water reaches down and pulls up yay much of a hand Kind of oh, shit. It's so gross. I the, uh, this, this section is all jagged with some teeth marks, too. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Good news is, Eric Hall, there's a ring on the finger. I, I try to see if the nails are manicured or trimmed. If they, I'm trying to understand, uh, using my nightly background and such as that, uh, if this, um, I'm getting to the point of, does this man look like he had or was born into the um, type of family or type of nobility that would be taking care of things like their hands and uh, looking for calluses and things like that? I'm figuring that the captain of a ship may be a little bit more, you know, may, may take his appearance a little bit more um, serious. And so I'm. Um. Um, I'm 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 stretching there a little bit, I know, but I'm trying to see, can I tell maybe if this is the hand that we're looking for? I doubt I'll be able to recognize a ring, but maybe I can see if this guy was at least uh if he was a common laborer sure. or um um or an officer. No, why wise decision. Go ahead and investigate. A Fifteen. Uh yeah, it it looks like uh the hands aren't like kingly or anything but they certainly are not commonplace uh however the hand is rather wrinkly indicating that it's been in salt water for a while mm. uh, marius did you have something 
Yeah, I'm going to look at the ring and see if there's a uh, family crest or sigil on it. Yeah. Looks like that. Like an M. Hmm. Okay. Uh, if I do like a flashback for when the Admiral jumped on a ship and flourished with his hands, do, do I recall seeing a ring on his, on his finger? I'll take insight. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, not nice. I didn't roll that well. Six. Yeah, you don't remember. Okay. Hey, it was Captain uh, Admiral Morgan, correct? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this was yeah, the name? I'm sorry? How long, wait, how long did the ship go down? Not long, right? Correct. In the storm. It's been here a while. Well, it's pruney. I mean, if you sit in a bathtub for a couple of hours. Yeah, you know, you're going to be all pruney. I, I, I think we're going to check this area a little bit better to see if we can find the, the rest of this body. Uh, if there are anything, uh, anything we may be able to uh, deduce a little bit better in the area. A little bit more thorough check, um, maybe uh, in order. I, I think that is a solid idea. Actually, I will take investigation checks from all four of you, please. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll interject though. I go. I bet a shark ate him. You know. Uh, an eight. <laughs> That's a perfect apathetic rule. For I'm going to go ahead and remove the ring and uh, try to save the hand somehow. <laughs> I can twenty one. Twenty one. Maggie, uh, that thing is back. But, but. Have gentle repose. It's on that side of the reef this time. Because on that side of the reef. We've seen that the movie. Fin. <laughs> the fin. I ate him. Are there any more of those crabs around? I just you can go back and see if they're uh, blockading you again. Well, I'll just if I see any on the beach, because I want to go talk to our friend. Okay. Uh, as you go, the eyes kind of dip down a little bit, but not completely. You see the head is kind of a bluish color, and it's kind of, for lack of a better term, seaweedy hair. Okay. It doesn't look anything like the marrow? No, it does not. And, not, not, and nothing right. close to my complexion. Huh? Mm -mm. Doesn't look like a triton. But as you approach, it kind of moves okay. back away from you. Oh. what? Uh, is there any kind of a knowledge check to make to identify what this is? Sure. I'll take, uh, I will take arcana checks from all of you. <laughs> I'm not good at arcana. I would assume Maggie will point this creature out again. Yeah, I will point it out, but I have no clue what it is. That was in that one. Natural 20, and I'm going to cast uh, Divine Sense. Natural 20. So 21. Uh, Luna, you're pretty sure it's uh, what they call one of them their nerids. Uh, Marius, however, with his natural 20, believes you're close. He thinks it's a Nixie. Well, I rolled a nat 20. Oh, you did? Yeah, I said a 21 is my total, but I have a nat 20. But, okay, yeah. So y you think it's a Nerid. He thinks it's a Nixie. That works anyways. It's not something that's really necessarily threatening. Not currently. Not currently, yeah. <laughs> Ma Maggie, would you like to converse with this individual? I would. Um, what languages do you speak? The, huh. Common Elvish and Draconic. So I'm, um, I'm going to try Elvish. Just why not? Sure. What would and you like to say? Ask if they know um, if this is the ship that sank last night and what happened to the captain. Does not appear to understand you. I'll switch to Common and say the same thing. Hmm. Okay, anybody speak? Marius is going to speak. Does. Yeah, I speak primordial, and I, I ask the same question. Why do you want to know? And it speaks in primordial, not common. 
I I ask it is uh, we're looking for someone that possibly went down with this craft right here. Oh, there's a lot of bodies. We're looking and for it, one. It kind of raises up out of the water, and it's eaten that crab that uh, Maggie kicked into the water. You like the crabs, okay? I um, like crabs. I even have a small comb. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I was trying to make Eric call spit. <laughs> nice. Uh, yes, he, uh, he, the oh. creature points out that there are a lot of bodies down there. We're looking for one that's alive. Underwater. Can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she went back on, on, the Nixie went underwater? No, there's just nobody alive underneath. Oh, oh that okay. You'd be looking for. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. The professor died with Marianne, so uh, it's not yeah, going to be um, down there. Yeah. Well. But he's, he's the creature's still keeping its distance. It sounds male, which would lead you to believe that it is a Nixie. Okay. Ah, uh, well, I see. Hey, ask about um, clothing for the bodies, if one of them's missing a hand. Okay. I asked uh, any of those bodies, uh, Wearing military uniforms? Yes. Okay. Any of them missing a hand? I'll have to check. Uh, and then he does his uh, best uh, Dave Chappelle move and go, uh, you got any more of them crabs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'll trade you a body for a crab. Yeah, I'm going to try to use my Triton to throw one to it. Oh, there aren't any here. Oh, there's you got to go back and go, oh, go catch okay. one. Okay. You go crab fishing. That's right. Crabbing. Mm -hmm. One of you can go back and see if they can get a crab for him while he goes underwater. Yeah, I convey this oh, to the God. others. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go. So anybody who you wants to... You and Eric all can go hopping <laughs> for the crabs. So they're going to go try to catch crabs. Huh? Yep. I'm going yep. clapping. Um, <laughs> Marius and Luna, you uh, wait for the arrival. Uh, Maggie and Erica, you come back to the defensive line of the SS Crabs. And again. I just, <laughs> I don't know. It's somehow, I just can't imagine Erica ever catching crabs, you know? I just. Oh, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Let me uh, get the mermaid uh, V. <laughs> Eric Carlson, you're distress. running. I'll take a uh, Dex check. <laughs> Dex check. We'll see if Maggie can leap over. I hope he doesn't slip in the ocean. Face down. How about we give him some damage? Oh, no. Two hit points as he gets coral to the face. Uh, Maggie, you make it ahead of Eric Hall, but Eric Hall quickly scampers up, and you guys are both there. I'll take initiative. From both of you, please. Against the crabs. Seventeen. Nat Against twenty. Not not twenty beats Maggie. Go ahead, Eric. I'll give it your best shot to see if you can get a crab. What do I need to roll? What's it? D uh, twenty. Yep, you're hitting it. Okay. Uh, another nat twenty. <laughs> Unfortunately. You just blast that fucking thing apart. I mean, you you spray crab everywhere. <laughs> the other crabs, uh, although it's difficult to tell, are having a look of horror at what just occurred to Pete the crab. <laughs> uh, Maggie, I'll give you a shot at uh, getting some dinner. Okay, that's cocked. Uh, no, not one. <laughs> So you stab Eric Hall Justice Man in the ass <laughs> with your rapier. How much, oh, damage, sorry. how much damage did you do and have it? Oh, my God. All oh, you got to do is catch a fucking crab, people. <laughs> <laughs> 11 have is what, five? Five, round down. Eric yeah. Hall, you, <laughs> you feel a sharp stabbing pain in the butt box. Uh, odd left, even <laughs> uh, in your left buttocks region, uh, you are now Lieutenant Dan Justice Man. <laughs> I was about to say, hey, something bit me. <laughs> uh, wow. 
Marius, Luna, uh, the Nixie head pops up and he goes, I think I found what you were looking for. Oh, you brought it. I, I can't talk to him, so I'm just standing there. Where yeah, um, I say, I'll, I'll I say, all my black on whatever. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> no, I say to the Nixie, I, um, can you bring it here to the surface? We're still trying to get you. Yeah, I've your, got it. Your kit. Do you can have you? my crabs? We're working on that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Eric Call, uh, you had the nat 20. Go ahead with uh, second round. You can either take your healing potion and backhand Maggie for stabbing you in the ass, or you can try <laughs> and get one of the crabs before they disappear. And that's just a, that's a, that's a 15. Oh, then, that hits easily. Yeah. So you'll kill that. Maggie, you want to take another shot, or you want to stab Eric Call in the right butt talk? <laughs> Now that is a uh, 13 to hit. That hits as well. Each of you have a crab. So you have two total crabs. Do you want to fish for more? Well, you know, I think we're going to run that well. <laughs> more like a, <laughs> as your glute is uh, pinched off. He's, he's, he's got the million dollar wound. But he ain't seen a lick of that money. <laughs> uh, Eric Hall, since you're going to try and run, I'll take a D20 for your dex check. He's also bleeding now, so great. If he falls in the water. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> One to two. Uh, you lose the grip on the crab, and it goes into the water on the left. Please don't. Five to six, it goes in on the right. Three to four, it's going to hit Marius or Luna in the head. I roll a D6. D6. Three. Uh, now roll Odd Marius, even Luna. Oh, come on. <laughs> even. Luna, you are struck in the head by something, and the crab grabs a hold of your hair, and yeah. you can tell that it is fighting you. <laughs> <laughs> I go to assist Luna. You should take a big hunk of her hair off. <laughs> Get the trident. Uh, Maggie, you arrive uh, safely, I assume, since you aren't running. Uh, you have two offerings. Would you like to pre present both of them to the Nixie or just one? It's still a I'm happy with both. Did I retrieve the crab from Luna's hair? You did. Okay. okay. Uh, well, you know what? D20, if you roll a one, you really fuck up her hair. My hair is already <laughs> really short anyways. It's hard to fuck up. <laughs> well, now you got the Charlie Brown jagged look going. Uh, the Nixie <laughs> gratefully accepts both crabs and uh, throws the body on the coral. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of effort, but you should be able to drag the one-armed man up. I'm, I believe I'm there's a doctor strong. in Chicago looking for this guy. You have to say, is this the fugitive? It is the fugitive. <laughs> uh, who wants to drag the body up? I'll, I'll, dra I'll drag it I'll up. Let strong people do it. Uh, the two paladins each yeah. take a shoulder, drag it up. Sure enough, there's a missing hand there. Uh, it also has been chomped on. Okay. So it, I I try to hold up the hand to see if it fits. <laughs> I don't like the glass slipper. <laughs> you uh it's, it's probably it. Uh okay. this this individual is an older man uh dressed in pretty decent apparel. Um clearly he hasn't he's been in the water a couple hours which would be consistent uh with the loss of the ship. But he doesn't you know what? Give me an investigation check, all four of you. Nope. Oh, that's an eight. Uh, that's still a nine. Ten. Six. Uh, Twenty-one. Thank freaking God. This man is not the man we're looking for, obviously. Marius, no, Luna, and Erica, you're pretty fucking sure you found Rory. Maggie... <laughs> This guy doesn't look anything like the Admiral. Nothing but like him. He'd be dead long enough that his face should all be distorted. And mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but um, you guys, you three are so stupid. You, <laughs> you're just assuming uh, that it's him. Hey. Now, Marius. Yes. Could you please ask the Nixie if there are any younger people down there? Okay, is the Nixie still present? Or okay, eaten, two fist in it. <laughs> I asked the Nixie if uh, he had seen uh, a younger being like this one. Missing a hand. Missing a hand. Oh, uh, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Several minutes later, the Nixie pops up and goes, uh, I found one missing a foot. Hmm. Missing foot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I relay this to the others. He, he only found a younger person missing a foot. Oh, well, we can. Yeah. We, can we, we, get, we get the hand, right? Mm -hmm. The hand goes with this body. Yeah. But it could be somebody that stole the ring off of Rory. Could be. That's true. Yeah. Well, where's where's the hand right now? Somebody, I have it. Marius has it. I have He's it. I must. Stuck with this body. I wave it. <laughs> the wrong. Oh God! If we're backing up the wrong, well, it's not really. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the point. Zombie land reference. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What were you saying, Luna? See if that hand matches this body. We already did. Oh, so wait, is it? Does it? It matches. No, so, all right. So, but this is not the guy. Mm -hmm. No, okay. whoever it was stole Roy's ring. So. Uh, it is Roy's ring. We just know it has an emblem with an M. Well, it has an M, but, you know. Doesn't this have to be that ring? Did we see a ring similar to this when we were... Be Roy's boyfriend. I tried to. <laughs> Could be. Roy might be engaged. That's right. That's true. Wrong and and to further add to problems, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it might right. be Wisconsin. It might, it might be might Minnesota. Be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um I look at the Nixie. Is the Nixie wearing anything like uh, jewelry or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. No coral necklace, nothing. Are we sure this is the ship? Oh, you, would you like to go investigate the ship? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. The the Nixie will just kind of shadow you a little bit. He'll disappear. Come back up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the wreckage here is partially submerged, and the nameplate reveals that it is the Londonderry. And it is clearly Dang. a merchant vessel. Clearly. The cause of the wreck cannot be determined, but a gaping hole in the side reveals boxes that seem to be intact. So this is not even the right ship. We, God, we bribed that Nixie for nothing. Mm. But let's go check out well. the box. Yeah, let's uh, look at the boxes. The Nixie pops up and goes, <laughs> What? Yeah, yes. Good comment. Marius, he tells you that uh, you, you don't want to go in there. <laughs> okay. I, I am primordial. I say, have you already been in there? Oh, no, I'm not going in there. Do you know what's in there? Cursed semen. No, that's not a porn joke. <laughs> <laughs> spirits yep okay thank you you can't you can't understand them unless you speak primordial that's why I, I i relay to everybody that our friend the nixie because i'm assuming it's a friend now uh <laughs> seems to General, be giving you solid information yeah uh that there are uh Spirits in there of uh, cursed, drowned semen. In there. I loved saying that. That was funny. I don't know. We have to put them to rest. Maybe but, we should put them to rest. I don't know. It, only if we had a cleric that was capable of that. Oh, huh? Uh, I could cast Divine Sense. Is there a there, uh, time period? 10 minutes, I think. Thanks. I think I can cast something like that too. 
10 minutes expires. Okay. Uh, your divine sense senses undead and what? Uh, undead, uh, celestial, or fiend? Uh, the correct answer is A, undead. Gotcha. I think we're getting a thing. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> and I run at the evil. evil I'm man. like, wait! <laughs> How many of you have dark vision? That is a question I need to bring up to you. Uh, you would probably have it as a triton, I would imagine. Okay, okay. Because th the description in Boles was kind of unclear. I can see underwater very clearly in darkness, but I didn't know if that applied to above the land. That's, that's a, a D. Uh, that's I'll a D. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Eric Hall charges. Ah, for glory and honor. Uh, Eric Hall, as you uh, enter the gaping hole, you see a lot of boxes. Some of them have W's. Some of them have M's <laughs> as a brand uh, mark in there. Uh, and as you charge, uh, the boxes are dead center. There's a gap to the left. There's a gap to the right. Which one would you like to go? Because tonight is choices. All about choices. I go right to the middle and try to knock over the boxes. Oh, very nice. Nicely done. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Eric Hall will have automatically won this round. That's a thunder. We're about to get a apparently a good sized thunderstorm here. I rolled a one, but with initiative, that's four. Seven eleven. Seven. Seven eleven two. Heidi, if you want to go first, go ahead. Eric, yeah, I will. Yours. Uh, twelve. Fair enough. Eric Call charges for glory and honor and careens right into the boxes. Uh, the precarious nature of the boxes starts to shift. Eric Call D12 against me. Twelve. How many? Twelve? Twelve. Uh, D8 for me, please. Five. <laughs> Uh, Eric Hall hits it with such force that five boxes are dislodged going left, right, and back. Uh, oh, my bull. Nice. Uh, Luna, Maggie, Elevens, go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Maggie. Um, the box that's closest to me, I'm going to go inspect it and try to open it. Sure, you might as well, because I'm sure there's no monsters in here. <laughs> well, nothing yet. Uh, how are you going to open the box? That rapier is not going to be strong enough. Um, I'll take out... Does my dagger look like it'll be sturdy? Should be enough. Okay, you I'll use that it, then. But that's okay. Uh, Maggie yeah. walks up to the first box and starts prying on it. Luna, you're up. Um, so I don't see any undead. I just see a bunch of boxes, right? Correct. Scattered everywhere, courtesy of Eric Hall, Justice Man. Um, I'll pick a different box. I don't care. Pick one of them. And I'll start opening it, too. You guys are all dead in the zombie apocalypse. You know that, right? Uh, Marius. <laughs> you like our enthusiasm, man. Pray in and think, Jesus um, Christ. Uh, everybody's charged into this hole in the darkness. What do you want to do? <laughs> but so wait, it's really, really I'm dark? looking for good vinyl here. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage wait, 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 vinyl. Wait, wait. Jesus. Sorry, there is a thunderstorm and it's getting freaking loud. Oh, yeah. I was like, what the hell? I like really loud. I don't like really loud noises. So this is rather. Bang! Wait, is it, really <laughs> is it really dark in here? Because I'll change my action actually if it's really dark in the ship to casting light. Uh, it's dark in the bowel of the ship at where you guys are at investigating the boxes. There's enough ambient light outside. All right, then I'm going to cast, instead of going to check out a box, I will cast light. I'm sorry, I'll go back to that. Fair enough. Uh, Marius, as you approach, you notice a strange figure here and a strange figure here. Both are trying to push boxes off. Uh, I call attention <laughs> to, to the two mysterious figures that I say see standing there. Luna's light explodes into the hull of the ship and uh, 
brilliantly outlines these two individuals who look like ghostly figures. Top of the order, Eric Hall. Oh, hang on. I should probably roll initiative. <laughs> uh, now, not one. That's awesome. I'm tied with Marius. Uh, Eric Hall, uh, you, cr- you hit the center. You have your choice, a left or a right? A uh, left. Okay. Go after the Lacedon, the aquatic ghoul. Uh, that will not hit. That's a 10. 12 is the number that you need. Luna, Maggie, you're up. Uh, so wait, what do we see? Ghouls. Black and okay. what can I do? Let's see. Um, oh, we haven't got a rest yet. <clears throat> I'll pick a ghoul and I'll try, well, I'll try to say sacred flaming it. By the way, that is not fire. It is radiant damage, not actual fire fire. Left or right? uh right okay go ahead make a well no it's 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 sacred flame again so make a dex 13. what am i saving on it a doesn't deck. matter i'm not yeah i miss okay so it's gonna take and it said this is radiant damage yep you won't so, catch anything on fire Ooh, well it's only that so if it's undead maybe it'll take more i can hope but that's max damage it's eight points fair enough maggie Okay, now I see these things. Um, Eric Hall's gone for the left one. Luna's gone for the right. I will go to the right. Um, Sacred Flame doesn't do anything for advantage or anything, right? No, no, it just damages them. Okay, so 17 to hit it. But it is engaged. Yep. 17 hit? Mm, Easily. 12. 12 hits this thing. All right, four, six, ten damage. Nicely done. Uh, Marius, you and I are tied. I'll let you go ahead and do something. Okay, where where am I? Am I closer you to... You are right at the entrance to the hull. Uh, Luna yeah. is standing there shooting magic. Maggie has approached the one on the right. Eric Hall is engaged on the left. I feel that I feel bad that Eric Hall is that far away. Uh, Ma- uh, Maggie and Luna are like right next to me within five, ten feet. Or oh yeah, everybody's bunched up. Eric Hall hit the center, so mm-hmm. he could actually go after either. He opted to go for the one on the left. Okay, I'm gonna go help Eric Hall. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna attack with the trident. Uh, yeah, this probably isn't gonna hit. Thirteen. Thirteen, 13 hits. hits. Yes. Okay. Uh, just seven points of damage. I just kind of sure. Uh, odd, even, odd, Marius, even, Eric. Hall. One, Marius, uh, odd, Luna, even, Maggie, Maggie, uh, dark on Marius, light on Maggie. <laughs> uh, as a reaction, I'm gonna dark use was the show. Maggie, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maggie, that's not 27 for Marius. Uh, Maggie, give me a DC 10 versus con, please. Uh, shoot. Okay, let me get there. And you take five damage. <laughs> Seven exactly. Maggie freezes. <laughs> Top of the order, Eric Hall, Justice Man. All right, I will. Um, I will attack the one that uh, that I missed last time. Oh, I can't do it yet. That is going to be a dirty twenty-three. Easily. And I'll burn a smite. Okay. And so that's D eight plus D eight because it's undead. Damn it. Uh, that's 11 plus 9 uh, equals 20, 20 plus 4, 24. Eric Hall, Justice Man's Blade, cuts right through the neckline of the ghoul, knocking its head off its body, and the stump falls beyond. Uh, Maggie, re-roll your check. Luna, you can attack. 
All right. Um, since this thing is missing some hit points, I want to try make a wisdom 13 saving throw. Please. For told the dead. Nope, didn't make it. Bong. Both sides are tears. So D12, 11 points of damage. That's a seven again. <laughs> I can't help you either. I don't have like lesser restoration, damn it. It's like okay. switching dice. The head of the Lucidon. <laughs> and it falls over lifeless. Maggie. Still doing the running man. <laughs> I don't think you hear I... some. Everybody roll perception check except Maggie. Shit. Uh, that's good. That's twenty-two. That's a uh, fourteen. Uh, twenty-one for Marius. Marius and Luna, you hear some scratching off to the right, towards the uh, further end of the ship. Ericall, you look down at the ghoul, drop your blade. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate all the power that you've given me and to sustain my livelihood. That is exactly what I say. Thank you, Lord, for the power that you have given me the ability to sustain not. <laughs> Marius and Luna, you have and some noise. Okay. So I can't do anything with her. I can't help her. Um, but Maybe gonna... you could take a rapier and stab her in the ass cheek. That might help. <laughs> that might stab That's with me. <laughs> so, Maggie or the noise? I'm going to focus on the noise. I have I have a light spell going. I'm, I'm going to... What the hell am I... What the hell do I have for, like, weapons? Uh, I have... All right, so I'd say I threw it on my mace. So I take my mace and kind of shine it to the right. Let's see what I see. See if I can see what's making the scratching sound. You do not. You're going to have to move through the boxes that Aerocall knocked over, like the Hulk. Then I'll move forward. Yeah. Yeah. Arius, what are you doing? Um, uh, I'm going to check Maggie's condition. Is she paralyzed or is she frozen? She's paralyzed. Paralyzed. And um, what a. The only thing that could solve that is a remove curse or. Lesser restoration. Lesser restoration. Our cleric does not have Lester restoration. <laughs> the beauty of third level, man. <laughs> it's a third level spell. Okay. Third level, there's always that thought. Eh, I may fucking die here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, let's Maggie, see. another check, please. 17. Uh, Marius, as you look at her and kind of ponder what she's going to do, she goes, hey and attempts <laughs> to stab at the dead ghoul already. <laughs> and she looks around and is completely confused as to what is going on. Uh, I'm just like, it's okay. They're gone. <laughs> or at least two are. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> Ericall, after uh, praying to your deity for the uh, power that uh, surges through your body, what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to search for more evil. Luna, Ericall, D12, please. Nope, I actually could have taken a little spell. Damn it. Seven. Hmm. Ericall, you find essentially a log manifest. Uh, with a lot of papers indicating uh, what's in the boxes. Luna, you find some more red snappies. A what? Fish? Crabs. Crabs. That's the scratching sound. Mm -hmm. I feel like a dip now for not taking that damn spell. You are. What a dick. <laughs> Hashtag Luna's I a dick. <laughs> too, and I just don't know why I didn't take it. Erica, what do you want to do with the uh, manifest? I'll give the manifest to one of these learned, uh, either the cleric or, yeah, probably Luna, because, because she's learned and is wise. I'll, I'll give it to her to read. Erica wants to give you a manifest. Do you want to ignore the crab and uh, look at the manifest instead? Uh, let me grab the crab. I'm going to grab the crab first. I'll grab the manifest. Give me a hit roll. 
Oh, wait, that's not a D20. That's a D12. Oh, no, I don't grab it at all. That's a, what do I add to that? It's only a four. Oh, uh, don't worry. It grabs you. you. <laughs> so, could that be a dex? Yep. Yeah, so it'd be a five. So you take one hit point and howl in pain as you've got the damn thing on your finger. What the hell? They always like doing this to me. Aerocall like is attempting to present to you the manifest. Marius is telling Maggie, and that's how I saved you. There were a hundred of them, but I managed to fight them all. <laughs> that's right. I'm a triton, so I'm going to embellish. <laughs> Maggie and Marius, give me perception check. I was downright heroic, Maggie. Oh, my God. Mm. In defense of your life, I laid down my own. <laughs> You're still alive. Uh, 19. Oh, yeah. Marius, your perception. Marius doesn't hear it because he's going on about the heroic nature in which he defended your honor, Maggie. Maggie, you hear a uh, 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 guys, a uh, 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 guys, a uh, guys outside. What? Is it primordial? Primordial? Yeah. She doesn't understand it, but she hears it. Uh, Someone's <laughs> making noise outside. Okay, I stop expel exalting my deeds. Oh. And, uh, and that is how I hero of the... Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh. Um, I hear guys. <laughs> guys. The, the Nixie is saying, are boats under attack? Holy crap. <laughs> the boat's under attack. Right. Right. Can go to the <laughs> <laughs> Eric takes off running with a book in his arm. I'm going to run after him. Uh, uh, He's got every, the Baywatch theme going. <laughs> I'll be there. Uh, everybody run and give me two dex checks. Oh, I hope you lose the manifest. <laughs> uh, two dex checks, huh? Nat 20. And a 17. 14 uh, and 16. Uh, it goes to 11 and 11. <laughs> 15 and 11. Uh, okay. Eric Hall, Justice Man, doing the Bionic Man run in slow motion. Leaps up and over the crab line and continues on just as your longboat, the rope seems to be snapped and as the boat is starting to go maggie you are close behind uh steve austin you also clear the crab line uh and you are right on his heels and for some reason he's got overdue library books for some <laughs> that part was left out by marius the great we don't understand <laughs> luna and marius uh, you managed to run along the rocky surface uh but the crabs present an impenetrable force between you. Uh, would you like oh. to leap over them or fight them through? Uh, Marius is going to use one of his innate spells. Okay. And he is going to cast Gust of Wind and clear them out of the way. <laughs> Whoa, nicely done. <laughs> Crabs go everywhere and Reef Reeferton, the Nixie, is all over that shit so uh he is chomping down luna uh marius has cleared the way was reef by the way was reef right outside the thing as i came running out where, where he would grab the crab that was attached to me on the oh, way it's still attached to you <laughs> it's like i'm gonna pluck it off as i want as i go on toss it to reef okay. is that what uh, we're calling him reef the yes, Reef 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 that is a uh, 14. You make the dive. You're going to suffer one hit point of damage as you land on the coral. And you make the grab. And you have the rope. Then you see out of the corner of your eye 
a fin drops down underneath the water and appears to be coming after you. <laughs> uh, Maggie, you notice that Aracol Justice Man, true hero of the realm, uh, has spared no expense to his body. He's grabbed the rope, but you also see the shark going down under the water, making an attack run. No. Uh, can I try to help him pull the rope up? Sure. Uh, Ericall, at advantage, uh, give me a strength pull check. Come on. <laughs> I'm glad I had advantage. This <laughs> <laughs> one I had, I had a, a one and a 19. Oh, a wow. And a 19. Glad you had advantage. Uh, that's a dirty 23. Sorry, uh, a, um, a dirty 22. With my Maggie, Eric starts to pull, but he seems to be having trouble. So you grab a hold of his leg and give it a yank. Uh, with your assistance, Eric is able to pull the longboat up. You hear this unbelievably nasty grating noise as the bottom of the boat oh. breaks the coral, and then you hear a thump as the shark presumably uh, hits the boat. But <laughs> ship, uh, the longboat has been saved. Hmm. I think we, gonna... we should pull it up a little more on the reef. What are we yeah. gonna do about that shark? I'm gonna do my Aquaman <laughs> emissary no, 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 of the no, no, sea. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's a and I'm going to tell him there's fresh chum down uh, off the reef. Where Reef Reeferton's at? <laughs> <laughs> further <laughs> away. Further <laughs> down. Further <laughs> down. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, the shark resurfaces and goes off. Eric Hall, uh, give me a percentage roll. Percentile. Oh, very good. I like percentiles. Where's my percentile die? Here. That is going to be a 17. Uh, you managed to only lose 17% of that 50 foot rope. <laughs> so uh, 34 feet. <laughs> or no, that would be half that. Uh, eight feet or so. Yeah. So uh, the, the closest eight feet to the boat is ruined, but the rest of the rope is fine. Right, uh, I, will, I will get the boat and see if I can't get it further up. I put my uh, the um, manifest into the boat, and I think whatever bodies we have recovered need to go in the boat as well. Just the one. Uh, the one. Is er would it be, are Erica and I strong enough to lift the boat instead of dragging it up on the reef? Yeah, you guys can do a strength check. Okay. Uh, strength. Uh, 30, 20. Uh, 21. Oh, yeah. You guys lift it up uh, because you're manly men uh, and there's no horrible scraping noise. A few moments later, Reef Reeferton pops his head on. And he goes, What the fuck, man? Did you send those sharks after me or what are you guys doing? No, man. I sent them on the food past you. <laughs> yeah, with me in the way. I nearly got japped with that. <laughs> I can talk to them. Why can't you? <laughs> They're sharks. <laughs> <laughs> we are simpatico. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Don't worry. Right. Oh, what are you guys doing here anyway? And, and I tell him, I said, we're looking for a survivor of uh, a shipwreck. Uh, I understand because I go, no, he may be dead. Well, what is the name uh, of the shipwreck? Uh, the, sh the ship that... Uh, the Kelmus? Or the I'm Kelmus. sorry, the Kildwick. The Kildwick. Kildwick. Okay, in Primordial, I'll try to spell it out for him to see if he saw uh, a nameplate or anything like that on any of the wreckage nearby or below. I can't read. Well, I did just ask. It, it's that damn Nixie education system. You know, I blame that. <laughs> Eric called last Marius uh, if. There was a ship that crashed last night. We're looking for survivors or bodies from the ship that crashed. Night. If a cr ship crashed last night and during the big storm. Okay. That's what we're looking for. All right. 
I asked the Nixie that uh, did is there a ship that crashed last night from last night's storm nearby? Two. Two. Okay. Uh, where are those located? One with the ghouls. Mm -hmm. And the other one. Down further? You go towards the shoreline and it's stuck on the reef there. Okay. You thank him and I think we got to head to that one. Yeah. yeah. Are there any crabs nearby? Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> hey, it was raining crabs. It's raining Rain crabs. crabs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's yeah so that way. Yeah. So I, I tell that to everybody. I say we grab the launch and... and start working our way over to the reef near the shore. Perception checks, everybody. Fifteen? Twenty-four. Uh, Erica, Maggie, and Marius. No sharks. Looks good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see nothing. Push the ship back out. Everybody boards. Yep. The general direction was that way. way. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we start rowing in that direction. I Hopefully, will, I will roll helping. for Aracol this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <I> seven. <laughs> hey, it's too better than he ever did. Yep. Um, performance? Is it a performance check? Okay. Uh, 18. For Marius. One. Maggie? 15. Again, he's fucking dragging the oars. Oh my god, man, can't you freaking have a robot? It's forward. Ericol is not a crew guy. <laughs> is it? Uh, 18. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, now, who wants to throw the body in the boat? Uh, Marius will do that. Strength check. It's this body, it's not the right body. But I think we're supposed to bring back anyone we find. Anyone we find, I think. Well, there's a whole lot more down there, too. I think we should have left him buried at sea, but that's just me. Well, you're a goth, so. <laughs> exactly. And, and I'm also, I'm a grave clerk, you know? I honor the dead. Mm, I understand that, but, you know, let's take the body for now. We can give him a burial at sea later, you know, if the boat gets too too full. She doesn't so. look, as I say, I don't look too happy, but then again, she never looks too happy. Well, so. we're not defiling the body or anything like that. Uh, I look to Erica. That's Blake. Blake Blake defiles the bodies. This, <laughs> he's not here tonight. <laughs> okay, my strength check is um, uh, 21. You throw the body on top of the book. Uh, everybody gets in, and oh. Erica still can't get the hang of this. But after you guys tell him again how to row the fucking boat, you guys start to make progress towards an extremely large debris field. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I'm scanning the debris field. Everybody do perception checks. Uh, nope. That's a nope. Perception check, Erica. That's a seven. So oh. that's a big no. That's a 20. 12 and 20. Erica and Maggie, you notice in this debris field, there seem to be some areas of unusual circling water. You would best avoid that, I would think. Whirlpool? Looks like small whirlpools, you hope. I hope it's just world peace. Yeah, pointing it out to everyone else. We should probably go around those. Eric Hall, just so you know, uh, I went ahead and rolled for you, and you still forgot how to row that fucking boat. So <laughs> I'm a bit uh, slow. <laughs> who wants to pilot these things through the dangerous whirlpool area? What kind of check is it? Eric Hall volunteers. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> oh, dear God. 
Okay, go ahead and go ahead and give me a performance check there, Cap. Oh, we're good. I'm, I'm supposed to be pretty good. I mean, a performance is a charisma, and, and that's my supposed to be my prime attribute. That's why I keep volunteering. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll let the die decide. <laughs> a seven. Okay, that's that's a twelve. Uh, the debris that's keeps five. banging off the boat, uh, but Era calls. Uh, positive chanting, go left, go, go more left, go, go more, more left, uh, has made it past the first world pool, uh, without so much as a scratch. Uh, Eric Hall, whirlpool number two. Oh, good. Go! That is a 10. You are knocked off course a little bit. Enough so that you see another reef and more debris. Okay. I will take insight from all. Uh, 11. 21. 11. Eric Hall? Yeah. 14. Uh, Marius, you're the only one that does not think that is the right direction to go. Uh, Luna, Maggie, Eric call. Hey, it's the boat. It's the boat. Uh, Marius is like, I don't think that's the right direction. Yeah, that's not the way uh, Reef Referton told us to go. Yes, I was going to say, I remember that. It's, it's most certainly the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the way he said. Maybe I just don't remember it right. I remember it's the other way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Reef right and stir us wrong. Uh, uh, yeah. I put it to you guys. Uh, well. I offered my I'll input. <laughs> Ouch. Now, wait, if wait, you wait, guys wait. screw this up, you're both going overboard. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I have no compunction about killing the paladins on this one. <laughs> okay. Well, I... this is the thing. Okay, you sure you want to do this? Because Neither of my... you is named Sir Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot some G's made a wisdom check to see which way, whether or not I try to screw the party over or not. I rolled actually a really friggin' well on that. That's a 20. You believe that Marius is probably correct. Yeah, I, no, no, I think he's right. When I think about it, the directions were more his his way to go his way. Everybody, perception check or you actually know, investigation. You didn't check. Like the coral necklace, all you had to do was say so. <laughs> I did, but I mean, I do like the coral necklace. I just 15, want to see twenty-one. Which one? Perception. Investigation. Investigation. Oh, investigation. Okay. Uh, oh, 22. Uh, everybody but Luna <laughs> sees what? a flag. Oh. There's, there's people waving, not on the reef that everybody wanted to go to, but off in the distance, you see a, a glint of light off something. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go there. Take you about uh, 30 minutes to get there. Fortunately, Eric has figured out how to use the fucking ore again. The closer you get, you discover another reef, more debris, but there are several figures. Hey, hey, hey. Can we tell what they, <laughs> what they look like? <laughs> they look like bipedal humans. Bipedal humans, okay. Are they dressed in like the military uniforms? Mm-hmm. Looks like you found your guys. Okay. Uh, All right. As you approach, you're still a, a decent. What? I said they're alive. Who would have thought that would have happened? Uh, as you approach, you're still a ways off, and you see them. Hey! Yay! But figures are coming up behind them, and they don't see them because they see you guys. <laughs> I'm like, hey! behind you. Hey! Look out! Look out! <laughs> and they're like, where's my boy? 
Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, our heroes are here. Luna, can you shoot whatever's behind them? Oh, yes, Luna, fire an arrow oh. at them. <laughs> no, she's got like her spells. Yeah, I mean, I could do that. But the question is, I mean, or can we make a performance check to like try to at least give them a clue to look behind them? You're 90 feet away. Uh, go ahead and start screaming or yelling or whatever you want to do, but the yeah. merfolk are gonna get an attack. <laughs> oh, right, because I get guiding bolt that's 120 feet away. I can cast that at 120 feet away. They're shooting at these cans. <laughs> Stay away from the cans. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and fire your guiding bolt if you want. All right. That is an attack roll. Well, that's not a one. That's a 19. I'll let you pick which one gets victimized. Uh, okay. How much okay. damage? I will use the murder hobo dice because it's 4d6. And whoever hits it next gets a ta uh, advantage on their attack if it survives. Uh, that's 10, 13 points. Okay. It is knocked off the coral reef as the other merfolk attack and start whacking on three <coughs> of the six sailors <laughs> present. Uh, you are going to have to double time it with a performance check to get that longboat up to that reef or these sailors are going to get the shit beat out of them. Okay. Um, Everybody, performance check, unless Luna wants to fire off another one, and then one of you three will suffer disadvantage. Oh, Lord, what do we want to do, guys? I will leave that up to you. Because what, what, why would we suffer disadvantage again? Because there's only three of you hauling ass. Oh. Uh, and okay. if two of you are rowing on this side, and Eric calls rowing on this side. <laughs> okay. You guys will go um, see that other reef. At what, what speed are we rowing, would you say? Decent, I don't know. <laughs> Decent, I mean like 30 feet or? Yeah, I'll give you 30 feet. Okay. Because call is just pumping iron. Uh, I'm going to Aquaman it. I fasten the rope around me. I cast Expeditious Retreat and double my uh, speed up to 60 and just jump in and start fucking it. Okay. Uh, you've got Erica, Maggie, I know. Luna, and the guy with the ring on. That's still faster than them. So. Uh, I, er everybody make dex checks inside the boat. Yeah, to see if y'all hit. Lurch. <laughs> uh, 12. 16. Wait, yeah, it's going to be the same no matter what. Erica? Nine. Oh, shit. <laughs> Erica is knocked backwards, but oh, does not get thrown out of the boat. Oh. So he is now hugging the bloated dead guy uh, as Marius launches the craft out like Tommy Bartlett's water show in Wisconsin. <laughs> to hang on for dear life. Uh, and you are speeding. Uh, Luna and Maggie, you can see fighting on the beach. Aracol, all you can hear is screaming. And you notice that the screaming is you hanging on for dear life <laughs> as the boat is moving forward. Do I still get another guiding? Can I still try another guiding boat? At disadvantage or advantage for my save. Because you have been lurched. That's not, that's not a save. Well, actually, how many feet am I now within? Uh, yeah, what's your swim speed, Marius? Uh, with Expeditious Retreat, it'll be 60. My swim speed is 30. So uh, 60, but he's hauling shit. So maybe 40. So you're probably 40, 45 feet away. Okay, then <laughs> I'm going to switch. I'm going to do what I like to do for follow up when I've hit something. I want to try to the dead, the cantrip. So if that's a, wis a wisdom. Uh, yeah, wisdom save a 13. I will do we advantage. Went. Yeah, go for it. At the same guy. Nine and a nat 20. <laughs> well, that same guy that you hit is dead. Oh, I didn't realize I killed it. All right, then I, that's yeah. fine. You, you had a Another uh, merfolk has entered the reef, though. Much larger, kind of boss-like, if you'd say. Uh, the 
uh, sailors are using makeshift weapons and they're trying to fight off these guys. There are six of them. There are now three of them as three of the sailors have fallen. Uh, the next round, uh, Erica, give me another dex check to see if you can get up off the stinking bloating body. His feet in the air uh, like a sail. Uh, Marius, uh, you come close enough to the reef that you move to one side and the longboat. Do you want it to plow in or do you want to try and stop the longboat? I'll try to stop it and just, you know, gently. Please pull it roll in. like shit so I can run you over. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a strength check. Oh, okay. Strength tech check. Uh, 16. Okay, you managed to slow the boat so that it only slightly collides with the reef. Everybody bails out, I assume. Uh, Ericall er, initiative at disadvantage since you're still ass down. Everybody roll me initiative and we'll start this fight. <laughs> Not tonight, boys. 14. 14. 14. Three. What? All three of us got 14. So yeah. 14. Uh, the Merifolk <laughs> are starting to womp ass. <clears throat> so there are three uh, sailors fighting. How many Merfolk? One, uh, four. One big right. one, three small ones. Uh, one dashing looking sailor <laughs> is leading the charge with the makeshift weapons. As oh, best God, can. Rory. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, ba, 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 ba. give me one more. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Yeah, not looking good there. <laughs> oh no! Uh, as you guys beach, you notice that the other three sailors take excruciating hits uh and only one of them is still upright the other two are not dead but they're seriously hurt you guys hit the beach like it's normandy uh i will take the three 14s there are three regular looking mare folk and one boss can we roll you guys can go first. first oh well uh, thank you <laughs> uh Luna, do you want me to go? I don't care. I'm gonna. I don't, I don't care. Bane, which will hurt them. It's not gonna really buff anybody here. Okay. All right. It's not gonna buff anybody here. No, Bane is gonna make them worse. Okay. Uh, I guess at this time with my action, I cast bless on everybody. Uh, everybody. Yeah. Huh? Ooh, that's. It'll, get, it'll get three people. I, I think at your level right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll hit three. three. So, so which hopefully, three? Which uh, three? he's behind me, right? Yeah, he's still. Digging or does it radiate stuff. out? It's radiate. It's a range, I think. It's okay. A, uh, these three. <laughs> okay. Well, either cast, don't cast it on. Don't worry about casting it on me. If you want to cast on the melee fighters, that'd be cool. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, Maggie, Marius, and Eric all have blessed. Go ahead, Luna. What do I need for Bane? Then I'm going to use a second level Bane, which means I can get all four of them. So that is a charisma save of 13. Roll bad. Just on the big guy. Okay. And what does that do? That gives them, it's the opposite of black. Gotcha. It is, well, you should know this. This is Taryn's favorite spell. Uh, roll a d4 and subtract that number from their attack rolls. Gotcha. Uh, Maggie, you're up. All right. So I'm going to run over to um, the, I don't know, closest one and run him through with my rapier. That is a nat 20. Okay. Um, for seven, eight, 16 damage. Uh, you skewer the mare folk in the eyeball and he starts to slide off of your rapier and fall back. Uh, Ericall, you finally righted yourself. You're trying to get off the damn longboat, which is wobbling. Uh, your first attack will be at disadvantage as you are just trying to gain uh, your footing. Uh, 
in front of the big bad one is the handsome stranger looking sailor. Me or Eric Hall. Eric Hall. Oh, Hall. Can, yep. can I cast a spell normally? Sure, you can cast a spell normally. Yeah, what I'm saying is that it won't be, he, he won't get advantage on any or disadvantage or anything else like that. Correct. Okay. okay. Then I'm going to cast command and I point him in and say, math debate at the big bad. Okay. What's oh, the save? My. Always. It's always, it's his always masturbate. <laughs> Charisma? No, wisdom. Wisdom 13. Oh, oh yeah, that's a 15. So yeah, he's fine. <laughs> they never <laughs> masturbate on command. I know the family there, Eric Hall. I New round. Uh, the marrow or the marrow. One day it's going to work. One oh, day it's going to work. One, one day, probably in an urban adventure when you <laughs> aren't telling the nuns that you are a chicken yeah. fucker. Uh, <laughs> everybody roll a d12, and that will determine who the big bad guy goes after. Tanks. Uh, I, I, I roll a what? D twelve. D twelve. Did that? Did that bane? Ah, oh, that's a twelve for me. Oh god! Yeah, the bane didn't uh, help your wisdom save. Okay. Does the uh, bless help at all, or no? Bless should help you save. Yeah. To it's save, but not save. not to on him. Luna, what? What's yours? Nine to four. I rolled a 10. Marius, big bad guy is going after you. Uh, Luna, Maggie, uh, and Eric Hall, you each get a... Oh, uh, Maggie, you don't get a one because you already killed yours. Mm -hmm. uh, so on Luna, yep. nat 20. Uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm on right. Eric Hall, I hope. <laughs> Uh, an eight, so I'm not even going to bother with the Bane roll because that's not going to work. Uh, oh, Bane will take away from the nat 20. It's a nat 20. Yeah. It's, it's going to hit you. Uh, it's not the, a hit. the big bad guy. I'm going to need a d4 there. Oh, minus four. Uh, does a 15 get Marius? No, it does not. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. He wasn't affected by the Bane. So oh, damn it. Uh, does a 19 get you? Still doesn't. Okay, so you're safe. So the only one that gets hit is Luna. Is that a, considered a crit, though? No. Okay, cool. That's a, that's a little piece of why I, I brought it up. Five. Okay. Uh, new round, the 14s. Okay. Who wants to go? Marius, uh, the noble looking guy, attempts <coughs> to stand up D12 against me to see if he blocks your efforts. 10. Ten. Ten. Oh. <laughs> Five. Uh, he's going to stand up weakly, and you are going to attack at disadvantage as he's, by the power of Grayskull, trying to help you out. Oh, Jesus. So, Luna, Maggie, you guys go ahead. Then Marius can go at disadvantage. Um. Then I'm going to try. I'm going to take a step back, which I No, there's no friggin' such thing as getting out of a chair. Uh, You're on a want... reef. <laughs> no, be careful no. about how far you step back. Hey, once again, no, once again, I'm get, I get like four different game systems in my head, and there is no avoiding attacks of opportunity in this from five foot steps. I like all the other systems. Um, because I want to step back and not get disadvantage on my attack. Because um, I assume I'm within melee range, right? Oh, yeah. You all right, well, I can, I can attack of opportunity. If I can get my full attack on guiding. Oh, fucking hell, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. Okay. Uh, six minus four is two, so his attack of opportunity is not going to get it. That's fine, because I rolled a nat one, the guiding bolt of... Do a d4, we'll, or actually, do a d10. Oh, Let's see if you can kill Rory in the process. Oh, my oh. God. Uh, four. One, two, three, four. You hit yourself. All right, that's fair. What is it, for half? Yep. Maggie, you're up. Like you can seven. use big bad 
or one of the two losers? Uh, big bad. Okay. That's a dirty 20. Hits. For 17 points of damage. Ouch. Very nice. Uh, Eric Call Justice Man. I am going to cast Shield of Faith on the noble looking survivor, who I assume is Rory. That's just going to give him a plus two. Uh, it's a bonus action, right? So I can cast <laughs> as a bonus action uh, on our noble looking guy. And then I'll, as my attack, as my attack action, I'll attack the big bat. So, Marius, I don't think we let you attack, did we? No, but that, that's all right. I'll go right after Eric all. Okay. That's cool. Go ahead. Okay. No, that's only a nine. That, that won't hit. That does not hit. Marius, uh, go ahead with your attack at disadvantage because Rory is doing his best to help. Uh, at disadvantage? Okay. Yep. Damn it. Okay. Uh, seven plus eight. Um, 15. 15 plus I got the D4 from Bless. Yep. Okay, 19. You hit. Okay. Uh, I am going to Divine Smite his butt. Okay. So, all right. He has a shitload of hit points. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, it's uh, seven, uh, seven points initially. Okay. And uh, with Divine Smite, uh, that'll be nine uh, additional points of smite damage. Nice. Top of the order is the merfolk. There are two. Uh, one is on Ericol. One is on Luna. Is Bane still in effect, or was that a concentration? Oh, wait. Yeah, because I hit my fucking self. I would guess that that's broken. <laughs> well, it's out because you have to, I still have to make the roll. Oh, wait. I roll an advantage because I'm a warcaster. I do make it. Luna is, is a nine, so I won't even bother. Ericol is a two, so it really won't matter. <laughs> it really won't bother. Uh, the uh, big bad guy is going to go one Marius, two Maggie, three Ericol, four Rory. I please not Rory. One Marius. Okay. Uh, and I'll need that. Can I use my reaction to uh, cause disadvantage with the shield? Does that apply? And that's oh, no, that's only for another person. Yeah, right? no, yeah that, that, okay. that's to save yeah. somebody else. Uh, that's a 17. 17 does not hit. Oh, I'm sorry. I get plus five. 22. My bad. 22. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit with that shield, Dan. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, next up is uh, the 14s. Uh, disadvantage no longer applies, Marius. Oh, okay. So I have a regular on Luna, a regular on Ericol, and the big bad right in the middle. Okay. Uh, it's my turn, or is it? It's yes, all three you of your go. turns. Oh, okay. All right. This is boring. All right. Um, I don't know what to freaking do. I'm, I'm thinking I need to kill Rory. <laughs> oh. Uh, 25. Oh, yeah. Easily hits. Okay. Yikes. Uh, 12 points of damage. Okay. Maggie? All right. 17. 26 to hit. Yep. Or... Seventeen damage. Ouch, Luna. Um, did the one on me has it taken any damage from any source yet, or is Correct. it? Correct. Oh, Yours and error calls are uninjured. All right, I got. All right, um, make a dex save of thirteen. I'm gonna try to sacred flame it because can't risk hitting myself again. It was like, uh, fifteen. God. And that's that's with the bane. I yeah. Eric Hall. Damn it all. Um, I will um attack the 
I will attack the big bad. Okay. That's a nat 20. Nice. Nice. Yes. I do not have, uh, do, what do you want me to do? I, I, I don't have. Um, you roll your damage dice, then you re-roll your damage dice, and then you add your modifiers. Not, yeah. Modifiers are not doubled. Right. Six. Keep oh, plus 11. Uh, that's 17 plus four is 21. 21 points of slashing damage. Nicely done. Top of the order, Merfolk on Luna. Don't even need to roll. Ericall. <laughs> Good. Uh, might need to roll. Uh, do not need to roll. Uh, big bad. <coughs> oh, uh, yikes. 25 on number two. Maggie. 25 Shit. get you? 25 gets me, yep. As uh, it stabs you with its trident, the trident begins to glow, and the hit points you lose, it takes... A life Oof. Oh God! You lose twelve hit points, and the big bad seems to be puffed up. Still up? Hey, I am still up. Marius, Luna, Maggie, you're up. Okay. Uh, Marius is gonna attack again with the uh, trident. Mm -hmm. Uh. Six plus eight, uh, what six, 12, 13, 14, 14 doesn't hit it, right? You nope. didn't think so, okay. Maggie. Okay, bonus action disengage, and I'm going to take that health potion that we got mm -hmm. 1d8 plus two, no ones, 10 points back, Luna. Oh, friggin' hell, I have no idea what to do. Ah! Um, I'm like terrified of friggin' lighting myself up again because I took the most, the most person that did the most damage to me was me. Uh, <laughs> I am going to, I gotta try though. I'm gonna try it. Uh, make an attack of opportunity. I gotta try it. <laughs> Yeah, laugh a lot. Okay, uh, that was six minus three plus three, so six. That's not gonna hit me, thank God. And what about a fifteen? Oh yeah, that hits these guys. All right. These That's guys are candy right. asses. For a guiding bolt, I want to freaking kill this thing so I can go help in the big bad. That's seventeen points. Dead. Error call. There's still one behind you, and the big bad. Also, Rory is really weak, so his attacks have been negligible. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm going to use Lay on Hand on Rory to uh, restore 15 hit points. Oh, that'll work. That it? Yeah, that's it. That's that's my action. Top of the order. Nothing on Luna. Uh, Eric called to the rear. 17 minus... Three, so 17. Okay. Nope. Uh, you feel a, a poke in the back, but nothing bad. Uh, Rory is feeling better. Let's see if he's the victim. Big bad. 12 plus 5 is 17, and it goes after Maggie again. Maggie? Just hits. Welcome to the pain. <laughs> uh, 10 more. Uh, and he's ah as his trident lights up again. Uh, Marius, Luna, Maggie, go ahead. Marius, uh, there's still one behind Ericall and the big bad. How's the one behind Ericall looking? Hadn't been hit at all. Hadn't been hit at all. Okay. I'm going to focus on the big bad. Okay. Uh, 18. Okay. Uh, 12 points uh, damage. Got it. Maggie? 
I'm going after the one behind Erica. Okay. 24 to hit. Uh, doubled it. And 10, 14 damage. Dead. Nice. Uh, Luna. Maggie, Only the big bat is left. How bad, Maggie, how bad are you? I am down to seven hit points. Okay, I'm yes. going to say... I'm going to blow my second other second level slot on a second level trigger wound. Which is 2d8 plus three. We're going to need a bigger roll. The beach is open. <laughs> Eric Collins, she's healing. Go ahead. Just the big bat left. Maggie, 15 back. Thank you. Okay. I will uh, do a channel divinity under my conquering presence to force uh, the big bad to make a wisdom saving throw or become frightened of me for one minute. Uh, 15, and what am I saving on? Uh, wisdom. wisdom? Uh, yeah, he probably made it. Okay, it was DC 13, yeah. I was, it was worth the chance to get him to run away. Fair enough. Uh, Rory will make his attack. Rory scores a 19. Damn. About time, candy ass. <laughs> Max damage. Yeah, Top yeah. of the order. Uh, I guess that's Marius, right? No, nah, it's uh, the merfolk. Ah, uh, the merfolk. Big guy. Fuck it. Um, He's in for a penny, in for a pound. Uh oh, Django. Who is he hitting? If he's going after Maggie yeah, again, Rory. oh crap! Uh, well, well I, is Rory okay. close to me? Is he within five feet? No, he's on the other side of Eric Hall. Damn it! <laughs> uh, the trident lights up. Oh no! And the merfolk seems more powerful, and Rory's like, "Ooh, shit!" Uh, now, Marius, Luna, Maggie, Marius. Okay. Um, Marius is, <laughs> uh, there's a couple of things I could do, but I was just like, God damn it, Roy. Um, all right, I'm going to attack the big bad. Uh, not with that, 12. Nope. Not going to hurt. So, Maggie. All right, so hitting the big bad. <laughs> 11. Miss Luna. Shit. Big bad, the big bad is damaged, right? Oh, yeah. He's got the shit kicked out of him. Oh. But he keeps healing himself with that fucking trident. I'm going to... I wish I had something really fucking cool to get that away from him. But I don't. Um, I make a wisdom throw for a total of the dead. Uh, 17 minus 1 plus 0, 16. Yep, yeah, nope. Eric Hall, you then Rory. All right, I'm going to attack uh, the big bad, but I'll try to tell Rory that, you know, get behind us and and protect yourself. We're here to save you. Tell him to run for the boat. <laughs> uh, that, that won't help, that won't help at all. No, no, don't run to the boat. That's an opportunity that of attack. That was a two. No, he, 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 can take the, he can take the disengage action, you know. Okay. He can't. I run from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I miss. And he's going to hit you, Eric. <laughs> it's a one. <laughs> but, thanks. Uh, your two makes you lean over just as he golf clubs it up and he hits you for <laughs> two hit points of damage. Uh, the no. mayor folks turn uh, puzzled at what is going on here. <laughs> Mare folks going after two Maggie. Again. Only a 15. That does not hit. Top, uh, Marius, Maggie, and Luna. Marius, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to... Christ. <laughs> okay. Uh, 22 hits. Hits. Okay. And uh, I am going to cast Thunderous Smite as my bonus action. So let me pull Boom that up goes real. the dynamite. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Um, okay. The regular damage is uh, 11 points. Okay. And the thunder damage is uh, additional five points. <laughs> Maggie, see if you can finish them off. Is Come on, Maggie. Come on, Maggie. Do it. Come on, Maggie. Hit error call. I will let <laughs> 18. I, 18 does hit. hit. 13 points. Uh, Maggie's strike is enough to knock the merfolk noble backwards. His trident clangs to the coral, and the creature falls dead. Thanks. Rory runs to his associates and attempts to rouse them, two of which are groggy, three of which... They ain't coming back. They ain't coming back. So they're already dead, dead. Rory asks who you are and thanks you all for saving him and apologizes profusely to Eric Hall for trying to hit off the fifth tee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, uh, we say, well, young Rory... Your your daddy sent us. Oh, sorry, uh, Admiral Morgan sent us, and uh, we have a boat to take you back to the rest of the fleet. I must take my men with me. We have enough room for we, we have enough room for them all, all of the living. You said there's three left, right? You have room for six extra passengers. Right. There is Rory and five. Oh, we'll get rid of the other guy. Back. Yeah, oh my god, that's fucking cold. Wait, aren't there, wait, 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 aren't there only three that are alive, though? Wait, I lost track. How many he, are alive? He wants to bring the bodies of the other ones. Three, to, three alive, three Lord. dead. But I, think we should just bury, I, think, I think we should just bury them at sea. These are my men. They will not be buried without honor. Well, unfortunately... Uh, I, I hold up the head of the one that we picked up. I said, is this one of your men? I do not know who that is. I pick him up, throw him out. <laughs> There's room on the boat. <laughs> all right, do we have room now to take them all? You do indeed. Uh, I'm gonna you. I'm gonna go war trophy the the trident. Fair enough. It is a trident of draining. Yeah. Okay. Had the hand hit, that Maggie we won. got. Yeah. What? The hand that we got is Rory. Is that your ring? Yeah. Marius, do you have yeah. the ring? Yeah, I'll hold up the hand, pull off the ring. Is this yours? Oh, my name's Morgan, not W. I turn it upside down. <laughs> I have never seen Take that a... ring before in my life. Okay, that must belong to the shipping company or whatever. So, If you looked at the manifest, you'd notice that it was the Winchester Shipping Company. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that must have been their captain. So we'll just take the ring and bring the manifest. So. Now, the most important thing right now... Let's see if Eric Call can go four for four. Oh, God. Performance. <laughs> Let's see if I can go four for four. Yes. That's an 11. 13. 19. Uh, uh, 21, actually, for Marius. Everybody boards the boat, and you four heroes go ahead and manage to stroke, stroke, stroke your way back. Uh, <laughs> you will make it back to the uh, Kelmus uh, intact and in enough time to go with the invasion. It looks like tonight has been a success. <laughs> uh, and only 10 minutes over. Uh, well, let's do, let's do final thoughts. Uh, Heidi? Welcome back. Third time Thanks. official cast member. What'd you think? I like this. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it's a good one. Getting uh, Reef's help, I think, helped a lot that he yeah. uh, was able to direct us to the right place. Reef Reeferton is always a big help because <laughs> yeah. you were feeding him crabs left and right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and somebody understood <laughs> him. <laughs> yeah, that, that was an important point. Scott, <laughs> final thoughts. Who? You. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was really good. It was really good. I, I I liked it. I haven't done a lot of you know, I, I have not done a lot of sea adventures, um, and I I I like that. Um, I, it's uh, it's always a bit of a challenge to get around and. 
um, <laughs> you run into some weird creatures out there. So it's fun. And, uh, you know, I, I got to use my command. One day it's going to work. And <laughs> Frank, you're going to have to think about how to. I hope I'm on that party when I believe. Does. <laughs> I know exactly how that's going to go. Uh, <laughs> final thoughts, Carol. Oh, yeah, I agree, everyone. That was a lot of fun. Uh, Scott, I always love Eric Hall, Justice Man. Uh, I think he's my favorite one. You play every time you talk. It just makes me laugh. I really uh, wanted to hit you. You know, I, I should have said Rory's hit made you talk normal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, missed opportunity. And I said, for the record, the person who did the most damage to me was me. Well done. <laughs> well done. Bolt, man, is 46. So if you, it hurts. And I rolled, literally, I rolled three sixes, or something like three sixes and a five. Oh, no, three fives and a six. I'm like, <laughs> I friggin' just, I thank God I have the damage. I would have taken myself out. David, so, final like, thoughts. I loved it. This was my first sea adventure. Uh, first time playing a paladin. I actually like the paladin class. It kicks ass, oh, Eric. So. So. I, I really had a good time. I'm really pissed that I didn't think to make you talk normally for another five minutes. <laughs> uh, folks, we hope you enjoyed this boredom buster D&D uh, &D for the shut-ins. We had a good time. Uh, sorry we ran a little bit long. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy some of our stuff, RPG swag, uh, tinyurl.com rpg swag if you want to join us on discord tinyurl.com uh, slash mhobo inc discord uh, we've got a show coming up on Tuesday it's a talk show uh, and then we'll see if we can do some more boredom busters I personally have written a few scenarios and they are urban uh, I really hope that Eric Call doesn't make me jerk off in the town plaza. Uh, so for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. Stay inside, wash your hands, and be safe. Bye, everybody. Everybody wave. Say goodbye. Woo